Hello and welcome to our book summary channel. Today, we will be discussing a short history of nearly everything by Bill Bryson. This book is a popular science book that provides an entertaining and accessible overview of the history of the universe, the earth, and the human race. Bryson's witty and irreverent style makes the book both informative and enjoyable to read, and the topics covered are diverse and fascinating. Join us as we dive into the history of science and the natural world in this thought-provoking book. A Short History of Nearly Everything by Bill Bryson is a popular science book that provides an accessible and entertaining overview of the history of the universe, the earth, and the human race. The book is written in Bryson's characteristic style, which combines wit, humor, and an irreverent perspective on the topic at hand. The book is divided into several sections that cover different aspects of the history of the universe, the earth, and the human race. The first section, Lost in the Cosmos, introduces the reader to the vastness and complexity of the universe and the many unanswered questions that remain about it. Bryson explores the history of astronomy and the key discoveries that have shaped our understanding of the universe, including the work of Copernicus, Galileo, and Hubble. The second section, The Size of the Earth, focuses on the history of geology and the earth sciences. Bryson explains how scientists have come to understand the age and structure of the Earth, including the role of plate tectonics, the formation of the continents, and the evolution of life on Earth. The third section, A New Age Dawns, explores the history of chemistry and the discovery of the elements. Bryson discusses the key figures in the development of modern chemistry, including Antoine Lavoisier and Dmitry Mendeleev, and explains how the periodic table of elements came to be. The fourth section, Dangerous Planet, covers the history of natural disasters and their impact on the Earth and human civilization. Bryson discusses the history of earthquakes, volcanoes, tsunamis, and other catastrophic events, and explores the ways in which humans have tried to mitigate their impact. The fifth section, Into the Troposphere, focuses on the history of aviation and the development of flight. Bryson discusses the key figures in the history of aviation, including the Wright brothers and Amelia Earhart, and explains the science behind flight. The sixth section, The Mighty Atom, explores the history of physics and the key discoveries that have shaped our understanding of the universe at the smallest scales. Bryson discusses the work of physicists such as Albert Einstein, Max Planck, and Richard Feynman, and explains the key concepts of quantum mechanics and relativity. The seventh section, The Stuff of Life, covers the history of biology and the evolution of life on Earth. Bryson explains the key principles of genetics and the history of the study of evolution, and discusses the work of scientists such as Charles Darwin and Gregor Mendel. The eighth section, The Road to Us, explores the history of human evolution and the development of modern humans. Bryson discusses the key discoveries in the field of paleoanthropology, including the discovery of Lucy and other early hominids, and explains the genetic and environmental factors that have shaped human evolution. The final section, We Were Here First, focuses on the impact of humans on the earth and the environment. Bryson discusses the history of human civilization and the ways in which humans have altered the earth's ecosystems and resources. Throughout the book, Bryson emphasizes the importance of science and the scientific method in our understanding of the world. He also highlights the many mysteries and unanswered questions that remain, and the ongoing importance of scientific inquiry and discovery. Overall, A Short History of Nearly Everything is an engaging and informative overview of the history of the universe, the earth, and the human race. Bryson's witty and irreverent style makes the book both accessible and enjoyable to read, and the breadth and depth of the topics covered make it a valuable resource for anyone interested in science and the natural world. If you like this summary then subscribe to my channel and if you want to purchase this book, check out the link given in description box. Also check out the new designs on our store for unisex t-shirt, hoodie, sweatshirt etc. I'll see you in the next book summary. Thanks for watching.